always wondering what this all is, man. But ladies and gentlemen, I told you he's going to be joining us in studio. And he's going to be the headline act. <laughs> Martin's that excited at the Kuroga Festival, the 26th edition at Tartu City. This is like, meeting, this is like meeting Bob Mali. Yes, the Bob Mali of our generation. <laughs> of our generation, man. Fantastic. Good afternoon, uh, Femi. Uh, How are you? Fine, thank you. Very uh, well. That's huge um, praise. Thank you. <laughs> we, had to, we had to. We had to. We had to. We're excited. We're excited. Even the voice. Yeah. You heard that, Martin? Can you hear that? Ooh. Oh. <laughs> Femi, could you welcome to Nairobi and welcome to Capital of Femme. And of course, this is the jam. Femi, we're going to go straight into it. Uh, of course, you got your, all your inspiration. Uh, you started beginning your music career um, playing at your, in your father's band in Egypt in the 80s. How did that all start? Egypt 80 band, you mean? Egy yeah, sorry, Egypt 80 band. It's yes. Egypt 80 band. Egy Egypt yes. 80 band. Um, and he named it because he named it that because he wanted Africans to understand that civilization started in Black Egypt. So okay. Black Egypt is African. Nubia. Oh, yes, I see. It was like What's reclaiming. Our lost, our lost area, our yeah. lost land. Yes. Now, of course, uh, you started also playing the saxophone at the age of 16. Yes, yeah, 16, How did this 17. So I, he advised me to leave school to because I was kind of fooling around in school. So he said, what do you want to become? A musician. Okay, do you study music in school? No. Okay, as your father, I'm going to give you an advice. Get out of school. So I dropped out. I used to stay with my mother. So I ran away from home, moved into Kalakuta. My mother thought I had been kidnapped because she always thought the SSS would kidnap me one day. So she thought they had finally gotten me. So wow. The SSS is the Nigerian Special Forces? Yes, yes. You were always after my father then. Uh -huh. So your father advised you to leave school. To leave school. This is a brilliant father. I love your dad. Oh, <laughs> my, my father was, I mean, we used to sit down and smoke ganja, you know. <laughs> oh, How many fathers could do that, you know? So I had a kind of very... Very um, unique life. I mean, I wouldn't do that with my son. <laughs> <laughs> we, you had a you had a father son moment that is very yeah, we, very, very familiar for me. Uh, when when he mentioned that he was your son and you and you and you tried to you know catch him by surprise with a small hook and he missed. Um, Almost this, pulled a muscle there. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, we are a bit scared. Koroga Festival is this weekend. We don't want you to miss it. <laughs> anyway, the song they just played, Bang Bang Bang. Yes. What was the inspiration behind it and how did it come about? It came like uh, 12 midnight, really. And I was sitting and this melody came and the melody was so nice. And mm. I thought that I did not want to sing it. I didn't want to, s not spoil it, I didn't want to sing another political song. So mm. I was thinking, what else can I sing? And it was kind of like raining outside. I said, wow, let me sing about sex. So I go to meet my mother. I said, I'm going to sing about sex. And she was angry. No, what kind? What's, no, no. So I gave her part of the lyrics. said, what? What? No. So I, I thought, of, wow, let me sing about love from an African perspective. perspective. Yes. Where an African will hear it and it will quickly catch on and our own way, you know. And so that's how it came about. So I caught it pidgin English a bit and just did it up here and there. I love it. That love video it. that video is kind of saucy. Yeah, it is very saucy. Did, what? did did you pass it by the lady of the house first? I wasn't was I married? Was then? it 19 yeah, when was it released? First, oh, yes, I, I 98. Was, yeah, you were, I was 1998. Yeah, 1998. He looks kind of he was born in 90. He's my age. He's my age. I was going to say. He's a product yeah. of Bang Bang Bang. <laughs> 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 I think I think that song made Africa overpopulated. Yeah, it, 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 it did, <laughs> especially South Africa. 